everybody how are you uh today inshallah we will uh start lesson number two the geologic time scale so key concept the geologic time scale divides earth's history based on major past events so before we talk about the geologic time scale we want to discuss a little bit about something called index fossils so guys uh, we have learned that both relative dating and radiometric or the absolute dating can help us to determine the age of rock layers. So, actually, guys, scientists who are trying to determine the age of uh, a rock layer almost always use two or more methods to confirm the results. Uh, one of them is, guys, the index fossil. So, index fossils provide an additional tool to determine the age of fossils or the strata in which they are found. So guys, what do we mean by index fossils? Index fossils are fossils of organism that existed only during specific spans of time over what over the large geographic area. So again guys, index fossils are fossils of organism that existed only during specific time and what and over large geographic areas okay so guys the best index fossils are uh, common easy to identify found widely around the world and only existed for a relatively brief time again guys for certain fossils uh, in order to be uh, good and to order in order to be helpful as an index fossil it should be common they should be uh, easily uh, to identify they should uh, be found widely around the world and only exist for a relatively brief time okay so guys actually as you can see here in this uh, figure the, the extinct marine invertebrates known as fusilized or fusilized and uh, dry lobites. Actually, they are the most common uh, index fossil that uh, most scientists are using. Okay, so uh, they were at one time very common, but disappeared after a mass extinction event about 251 million years ago. So the presence of this uh, marine uh, invertebrate or this fusel lines indicates what indicates that a rock layer must be between what between 251 million and uh, about uh, 359 million years old. So fossils uh, fusel lines are useful for dating fossils of other organisms in uh, the structure or in the layer because the presence of both organisms in one layer shows that they lived during the same time period. So guys, now let us move and uh, explain what do we mean by the geologic time scale. So guys, the geologic time scale is a representation of the history of Earth and as you can see here, it organizes Earth's history by major changes or events that have occurred using what? Using evidence from the fossil and geologic records. So guys, as you can see this diagram, the time scale is divided into a series of units based on the order in which different groups of rocks and fossils were formed. So actually, the geologic time scale consists of three basic units of time: the eras, the periods, and uh, something we call it epochs. So, guys, let us start with uh, the eras. Eras last tens to hundreds of millions of years and consists of two or more periods and. Uh, actually, we have three main eras: the Cenozoic, the Mesozoic, and what? And the Paleozoic. So, uh, the Paleozoic means the ancient life 
the Mesozoic means the middle-like and the Cenozoic means present-like. What about what about periods, guys? Periods are the most commonly used units of time on the geologic time scale, lasting tens of millions of years. So each period is associated with a particular type of rock system. What about the epochs, guys? Uh, epochs actually are the smallest units of geologic time scale and last several millions uh, or several million years. So guys, actually in this video you have, or I tried actually to include the most important uh, ideas uh, in this lesson since actually there is a lot of details uh, in this lesson. So I want you just to focus on these ideas guys and uh, that's all. Thank you and see you inshallah next time.